Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I share a grocery haul video every week just to share what we buy as a family of four. I am a stay-at-home wife and mom. I have two kids, Lily who will be seven in May and Elijah who is five. So this week I went to Walmart. I didn't go in Walmart. I haven't been in Walmart since before COVID, but I did do Walmart grocery pickup, got some non-food items, and then I also went and did my regular grocery shopping at Aldi. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan, and then we will get into the hauls. And if you wanna guess the totals, leave them down in the comments down below, and I will show you guys the receipts and everything at the end. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. This is running from March 12th through the 18th. So we've got buffalo chicken, quesadillas, and veggies. I'm gonna make the buffalo chicken in the crock pot. Then we've got a barbecue pork flatbreads. We're gonna use some leftover barbecue pork from last week that I stuck in the freezer. Tilapia, instant pot green beans and potatoes. That's a recipe that I'm trying from Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life. And then we got lasagna and salad. Copycat Taco Bell Mexican pizza. I'm gonna make a big crock pot of refried beans again. And then we don't like like corned beef and cabbage. That's not our thing. But I thought it would be fun to do some sort of food, special food for St. Patrick's Day. So we're doing a traditional cottage pie. And then we've got sticky honey chicken and rice with zucchini. This is, again, my meal planners. This is a different one. This is the one that I like to hang on the fridge. It is laminated. And then, like, as we run out of stuff throughout the week, I can write it on this side. And then I'll remember to put it on my grocery list. This is the one from last week. Um, I just usually have, like, one of these wet erase vis uh markers attached to the fridge. Uh, with one of these clips. These clips come from Dollar Tree. Whoops, that just flew across the counter. Um, but I use one to put this on the fridge and then one for the marker. And then, as I said, we can write what we needed, like we needed honey. And then we can also check off the meals as we have them, since we don't usually have them in order. So I um, laminated two, that way I can go ahead and write on a new one when the old one is still in the fridge because usually I meal plan a couple days early like before this meal plan actually ends so that is what I do and I'll just have two copies so that I can go back and forth between the two and then just erase it with a wet paper towel since they are wet erase you could also use dry erase markers um, I will also link my laminator down below I got it from Amazon it's the Amazon basics laminator and I use the pouches and that's how I eliminated these. But that is our meal plan for the week. Okay, here is everything that I got at Walmart. It doesn't look like much, but this um, was quite a bit of money. But leave your guests down below and I will show you the, the receipt in the app. When I get done showing you what all I got, um, I got some dog food for Rex. This is like $8. Alpo is the one that he really likes. I got this Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Curl Defining Hair Cream. Um, I might use this some, but I mostly bought it for Lily. Um, both me and her have pretty wavy hair, but the longer we wear it down, the less wavy it is. Um, so I got this mostly for her to see if it can help her kind of like actually have those waves. Um, and she needed like some sort of leave-in conditioner. So I got that to try. I got some more body wash. Um, these kind of things, like the non-food items, these are the main reasons I went to Walmart because I can't get these at Aldi, obviously. So I got the lavender one this time. I really like this. I like that it has a pump. It's really easy to use and it lasts a really, really long time. I got this Flexitol heel balm for my feet because my feet are not great. Uh, I don't take care of my feet as much as I should. I like to be barefoot and not put lotion on my feet all the time and I really should do that more and I'm trying to take better care of my feet so that they look better in sandals and stuff. So I got this to try. I'm also ordering like a pedicure like tub little bath foot bath thing to use occasionally and trying to actually like put lotion and this on my feet every day keep them moisturized so they don't look like crap and then I also have a like one of those big like almost looks like a cheese grater 
but it's for your feet. It's like a file kind of thing. Um, like the ones they have like at the nail salon. I have one of those that I use occasionally and it works really, really well. And that's from Amazon. So just trying to use it more and take better care of my feet. Got some body wash. This is what Andy likes, the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, 3-in-1 Citrus Rush. Got some more sparkling ice. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with having something that's like water but flavored. So I got two of the black raspberry. I thought I only ordered one of those because I'm not sure if I like it. I'll probably like it though. So I got two. I uh, probably won't like this one, but I wanted to try it. Coconut pineapple. And then I got two of the classic lemonade. Um, I've been using the different gel for my acne and it's been helping amazingly but it says you should always use a SPF moisturizer with it and I actually didn't have one so I've just been using regular SPF when I go outside um, but I got this AM facial moisturizer with SPF 30 to wear because you usually just put regular lavender lotion that I have it's made with essential oils I use that on my face because it like doesn't clog my pores or anything and it's really hydrating um so that's what I usually use but I got this CeraVe uh to try and then I got some new eye cream eye serum because I was out um decided to try the Cetaphil refreshing eye serum for dry dehydrated skin I got some cardstock because I needed it for some school stuff I found the Fruity Pebbles cake kit um, we really do like the the Fruity Pebble snacks that I picked up in my Kroger haul. They're like little Fruity Pebble crisps. Those are pretty good. Um, but I think I saw Carla McKenzie share this. I don't remember if she tried it. But I saw somebody else share it and they said the only thing was that they didn't like was that the topping of the Fruity Pebbles gets like stale or soggy after like the first day. So maybe you just like don't put that on unless you're doing it for a party. Like we're not going to make this for a party or anything. We're just making it for us. So maybe we'll only sprinkle the cereal on top of each individual slice. So we don't have to deal with it getting gross. I don't know. But this is like $5. But it comes with everything. The cake mix, the frosting, and the cereal topping. So yeah. A little bit of a splurge but we decided to give it a try. And then I got a few things for the kids Easter baskets some Reese's eggs and some Reese's pieces and then I got some more of this garlic parmesan wing seasoning because I just like to have that on hand and that is everything that I bought okay so they were also out of some things that I had ordered I ordered the cinnamon toast crunch creamer I really wanted to try these lemon head crushed um, Easter candy um, I saw a recipe for them that used them to make cookies and that sounded so good so I'll have to try again on those again some other time and then I ordered like a, a comb and some white tank tops for Elijah because he really wanted some new ones. But they took all that off because they didn't have it. And my total ended up being $77.16, which is quite a bit. And I didn't even get that much. But that's because these non-food items are expensive. Like I think this was like $12. This was like $10. This was 5 So... All of that adds up very, very quickly. Okay, here is everything that I got at Aldi. Leave your guess for the total down below and I will show you the receipt at the end. I got some cola for Andy. I got flour tortillas, the like medium sized ones and then the really big ones. I got some honey because we were out. Some ranch dressing because um, we're almost out of that. Got some of the Sweet Baby Ray's a buffalo wing sauce. This is the only one that they had at Aldi. Got some oven ready lasagna noodles. These are actually the only lasagna noodles that they have at Aldi. Um, they can go, any lasagna noodles can go straight into the oven without boiling them first. You just have to make sure you have enough like sauce covering all of the noodles. They do not have to be this oven ready, but um, as I said, these are the only kind that they do have at my Aldi. I got some Parmesan cheese, some more of this ba brownie batter hummus, some extra sharp cheddar cheese, and two things of mozzarella. I got some chia seeds to put in smoothies. I got some plain, oh I thought this was vanilla, whoops. Well, I got regular uh, yogurt 
but that's fine. We'll still eat it. I got some cottage cheese and two things of 2% milk, two things of orange juice, a thing of apple juice, two things of eggs. Um, I was going to do like my own tilapia and like put some stuff on it, but instead I saw these. This isn't something they usually have, but it's Parmesan encrusted tilapia and it looked really good. So I decided to give this a try this time. And then I found some Markdown chicken, which is good because I needed it. It was on my list. And this was $10.85 and then $5 off. So I paid $5.85 for this one. And it is 5.74 pounds. And then I paid $6.47 for this one. And it's just over 6 pounds. So lots and lots of chicken. I got a thing of bacon. And then a thing of ground beef. This was just regular price. So it's $2.99 a pound. So this is $7.21. And then a little bit of produce, got some more grape tomatoes, some mini sweet peppers, some big tomatoes, and then two English cucumbers. They didn't have any of the mini cucumbers this week, I think because they were on sale. They were like $1.19, which is really cheap for the mini cucumbers. So they were sold out, so I just got these instead. Got two things of green beans to make the Instant Pot green beans and potatoes. Got some zucchini, and for non-food, I got this dishwashing gel and this new trash can for $10.99 it is I think 13 gallons which is bigger than the one that we have that's only like 10 and it's annoying because the trash bags are bigger than the trash can so this is perfect but that is everything we got at Aldi okay here is my receipt from Aldi I spent $99.52 this week and that is going to be it for this week's haul. I will have the total of the two stores combined here on the screen for you guys. But that is going to do it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.